Hey everyone, in today's video I've got another very quick little tip for you and this one is regarding a font. So for anybody that likes to do the split font designs either with names or numbers to cut say in vinyl and put onto wooden plaques or you can put these kind of things on cushions or tote bags and that kind of thing this is a really quick alternative to making your own. Now on my YouTube channel I've got lots of videos showing you how you can take any font that you want and you can split it in half and make it into a split font but this one is already done for you so the link to the font will be in the accompanying blog post over on my Apple Lover 53 website. So if you're watching this on YouTube directly under the title of the YouTube video is the start of the description. You may see the start of the description and then it might say more or show more. Click on that word and it will expand the box and generally the first link under the description of the video is a link that says my website and blog and if you click that it'll take you directly over to my website and then you'll see the blog tag. Click on the blog tab and then look for the thumbnail of this video. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm in Canvas Workspace for Computer, so the downloadable version. You've got to use the downloadable version that's on your computer to be able to use any fonts that you've got installed on your computer, okay? So this font is already installed. One thing I would say, this is a free font from Creative Fabrica. So again, in the blog post, there'll be links how to join Creative Fabrica with me and there'll also be links to this font. Once you become a member, you'll be able to get it for free or I believe you can purchase the font, but the price you pay for say the one font, it's, it's well worth joining and paying the annual subscription because then that opens up the whole of Creative Fabrica to you for free. There are things on there that are pre-made SVGs. There are things on there for sublimation if you're into that. There are embroidery files on there. There are even tutorials on there. There are lots of JPEG and PNG images. There's all sorts on there. I'm going to go to the text icon. I'm going to left click on my Canvas Workspace page and I'm going to type a capital M on my desk onto the page and hit enter. Now the font is already chosen because I've just been using it, but it's called Sophia Monogram. As I say, don't worry about that at the moment. It will be linked in the accompanying blog post. You can resize this, you know, make it as big or as small as you want to suit you. I am going to make it just about 10 inches wide for now, just for the purpose of the video. So I've got my letter M, I'm under the edit tab under the properties over here on the right hand side. Under width I'm going to say 10 inches. So that now puts the 10 inch letter M split M on my mat. That's how easy it is. I'm just going to fill it with colour just so you can see how it looks. Now from here all you need to do is type your name and add that to your design and again you can choose any font that you want. I'm going to choose the text tool, I'm going to type Morrison and hit enter all in capitals and then this time I'm going to come up to my fonts and let's just have a look and see how this looks in say something like impact, put that in the space drag it out until it fits and then again I'll just colour it so you can see how it looks. If you don't like the font that you've used obviously you can select it and say maybe choose Times New Roman or anything that you want to use really. I quite like impact with this. I think when you're doing a split monogram design if your split letter is quite fancy, then it's nice to have your word in a more block kind of font. I just think it makes it, it pop. So from here, I'm going to select both and just centre on the horizontal. Now, it's scooted it over to this side because it's measuring the horizontal from this point to the widest point here. So let's just select it again and make sure it's in the center that way. 
then I'm just going to select it and just using the arrows on my keyboard I'm just going to scoot it along until I think it looks central to this part of the letter which I think looks best now you could do this in two different color vinyls so let's say you wanted to do this in red if I go to a ready color and close that down you know you could make this two separate files you could cut this in black and then put this down in a different color or you can cut it all in the same color if you're going to cut it all in the same color I would select everything once you've got it all positioned how you want it and then I would right click and make it a group and that way that will all cut together in one color of vinyl so if I just make it all black that will cut as one if you do want to cut your word in a separate color then um, just move that away from the split vinyl so let me ungroup it just take this away and cut that one separately so let's say put a piece of vinyl on your mat up here that's about maybe nine inches I think that is high isn't it it's eight and three quarters so if you made your vinyl nine inches you could cut this part in black and then put a piece of say red or another color vinyl down here and cut that and then layer it up but if you're just going to cut it all in one go just position it where you want to position it once you're happy with it select it all and group it and then it will all cut together so that is a very very quick and easy way of using a split font with a pre-designed split font so like I say if you like to do these kind of designs but you don't want to be messing around trying to find a font and split it yourself and adding in you know like the weld lines and then putting in your text this is just an alternative way so I hope you found that helpful please give the video a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so it is completely free turn the bell notification icon on and that way you'll always be notified when I upload a video and I'll see you in the next video thank you